What's the longest you have stayed at home without ever going out? A week? A month? A year? What's the longest you have spent sleeping on the floor and not in a warm, soft bed? Try to imagine spending nine years in the same room, day in, day out, year in, year out. Try to imagine the noise from all the barking that never stops. Try to imagine that no matter how exhausted you are, there isn't a quiet place for you to lay down. There isn't a place for you to enjoy a few minutes of silence, to rest, to fall sound asleep. Beauty spent the first nine years of her life in a shelter. She was abandoned there when she was only two months old, like so many puppies before her and after her and even right now. The girls named her Beauty because she was a gorgeous puppy. But no matter how gorgeous she was back then, she just never got a chance to find a home. So she remained trapped in this life for nine long years, in a shelter of 200 dogs and only three volunteers. Eventually the shelter life got to her. It happens to most dogs sooner or later. By the summer of 2017, she was already very sick. She just needed to get out of there. She had had enough. So Zaira brought her home to Athens, and she has been fostering her ever since. And you would expect a dog that knows nothing about the world outside a shelter to have all sorts of behavioral issues. But Beauty doesn't. Maybe it's because she never belonged in a shelter, and she knew it. Even when she first came to us, skinny, confused, and almost hairless, she was so gorgeous. She had the elegance and the charm of a royal dog, the figure of a proud greyhound, and the wisdom of an old soul. Her first treatment was unsuccessful. Beauty just wouldn't gain weight. Her hair wouldn't grow back. Her blood test results were stuck in values that were screaming sick. But no matter how sick she was, despite her age and her background, Beauty kept thriving in her foster home. She saw dogs come and go. She made new friends. She outlived younger and healthier dogs and proved to be one tough girl that just wouldn't give up. In October, she drove back to the place where she came from with us. She met with her rescuers again. She visited the shelter where she grew up and got together with her old friends, with the attitude of the one that has broken free, that has seen what life is on the outside. A month later, Beauty started one more round of therapy. None of us was really sure what to expect. For all we knew, she could fail to respond to treatment again. Her hair would never grow back. She would never gain weight. She would remain looking like this, looking old while feeling so young. This time, the youth and the strength inside her prevailed. Her beautiful ebony fur grew back, along with some white hair on her elegant, sweet face evidence of the years she carries, of the time gone by. Beauty must be about nine and a half years old now, but in her heart she is still a puppy. She is the puppy she never got to be in the shelter, the one that fetches toys and runs happy and carefree, the puppy that sleeps by your side on the couch and plays with the cat of the house, and enjoys walking on a lead and exploring the garden and steals food and loves her juicy bones and her special treats. Rehoming a dog like her is not the easiest thing to do and to tell you the truth I'm terrified. This video might be her only chance of finding a home so if I'm not doing it right blame it on me not on her. If you're wondering why you should adopt a senior black dog that has been that sick, well, for this. 
for having her sit by your side and poke you with her paw every time she wants more cuddles, for having someone keep you warm when you enjoy your lazy afternoons on the couch, and for laughing at your cute little face every chance you get. Beauty was asleep for nine long years, trapped in a limbo where life was this mechanic thing repeating itself over and over again. She just woke up a few months ago, and she is ready to enjoy all the things she had been missing for so long, and more. She's not really old. In fact, she is very young. Wouldn't you be if you had been sleeping for a decade? <laughs>